So we are currently in Dublin, staying in a friend's house because we are going on holiday. Notice how I am already neatly packed up and ready to go. And Benjamin is not. It begins. So it is 6 a.m. at the minute. It always gets to these times and I'm just like, do I even want to go on holiday? I am so yes. freaking tired. I just want to sleep. Jack, yes, you can carry everything. <laughs> yes. Come on, servant. We are going on an American road trip. Yes. Where's the first location? New York City. I'm going to hit whatever breakfast they have so hard. I just need some energy to bring me back to that. I don't feel like myself anymore. Yeah, I am. Who am I at okay. this time? Woo! Okay. Jack notoriously forgets his passport at this moment, so we're just going to check. Yay! British citizen! So we're all checked in. All checked in, and now we're going to do our American visas. Best way to start a road trip. It's time to get on the plane! Yay! Good morning and welcome aboard. Good morning. This is the most uncomfortable thing I've ever worn in my life. Why is everyone wearing it? choking me. I'm going to be like this. No, you ain't. <laughs> I am. No, you ain't. I am. How did I get my Let chair Let me back? introduce you to your good friend, Pillow. How did I get my chair back? He's there to support you. We have no idea where we're going. It is a beautiful day in New York, so we are very well rested, um, and we're about to head into town to see some sights and see some fabulous things. Hey, let's go. <gasps> oh, I want to go on it. Okay, so we've never heard of this, but we're just going to do it. Girl, look at that booty. It's to Roosevelt Island. And what is Roosevelt Island? It is mainly residential, and then on the right hand side, as you like go over, there's like a sports field, I think. <laughs> Going over New York. Roosevelt Island Territory. I thought it was going to be a nice little Starbucks, just a little something something, maybe a Dunkin' Donuts, no? So this is the Hudson. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus what? That is not French. What is it? You're smelling yourself. I smell oh, like roses, you. petals, rainbows and unicorns. What do you smell like? You smell like death. You smell like the poo emoji. But Pinkberry is my new favourite thing and I don't know if we've got this in the UK, but if we don't, we need it. You said you didn't like almonds. Jack made me get the best flavours on the side because he said he didn't like them and now he's just eaten all of them. I'm not even sorry about it. <laughs> You've eaten all of my favourite bits that you don't like. It is like a thousand degrees or something like that right now. Beautiful. So we are sat in a public park with a nice little fountain. And now we're gonna go get lunch. I'm hearing some... Oh, Latino music. <laughs> I don't know why we weren't invited to this party. I no idea what it is, but my family's South American, so I feel like I'm, uh, I'm invited by genealogy. We found out what it is. It's the Puerto Rican Day Parade, and it's you are mental. not. <laughs> Y'all know how to party. Damn! <laughs> this is the bus tour that we're going on. The big bus, New York. We're just queuing up now. <laughs> okay, they've got our bus pass tickets. We're gonna go and jump on a bus and go and see New York. Some downtown loop. So if you guys are ever in New York, you need to hook yourself up with Big Bus 
and I think it's like a whole day thing where you can do like night tours and they just gotta hook you up. Jack's the man with a plan. So we're gonna start at Times Square. On the roof, we'll end up seeing the Empire State Building and Union Square. The bit that I'm really looking forward to the most is the High Line. Oh, love that. Thank you. Enjoy, guys. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm on a party bus. If he be good, I'd take his ass to. <laughs> <laughs> Empire State Building. Someone has just out selfie sticked us. <laughs> That's the I'm a professional! Insane. I'm so excited. I think it's very important to go to Freedom Tower when you're in New York. Yes. Wow. Welcome to One World Observatory. Floor 102. Okay, the show's about to begin. <laughs> And now, a spectacular 360 degree view of the city awaits directly below you. I would like to officially welcome you to the very peak of the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. We're currently on the 102nd floor, and <laughs> I can't believe it. This is just insane. Like, absolutely insane. Oh, is that Statue of Liberty? That's Statue of Liberty. Little Lady Liberty. Girl, look at this view. <laughs> it's incredible. What on earth? Got tickets to see the color purple. <laughs> Just queuing up in line. Jack's first Broadway play slash musical slash whatever. Yes. So very excited. So excited! Colour purple. Okay, so the show just finished and the lady just standing right there is actually Cynthia's mum, who is about to win a Tony Award tomorrow. That show messed me up a lot. I looked over about four times and I could see him wiping tears from his face. Ruined. I can't even insane. breathe right now. Like, I need to go home. Like, that was just too much. <laughs> but yeah, great show. Morning, Jack. <laughs> Good morning, New York! We're going to The View, which is an American talk show, I believe. Raven Simone is on there, Whoopi Goldberg's on there. They have such a strict um, dress code that you can't wear t-shirts, you can't wear shorts, you can't wear logos. You've got to dress like you're going to a Broadway show. We didn't really bring that many smart clothes, it's ended up that we've actually had to wear the exact same thing pretty much. Awkward! So we're jumping into the queue now. Oh, we're still in the queue, and Nick is thrown quite a bit. Are you excited for the show? Yeah, although I've never actually seen it, so I don't really know what's going on. You best not say that in this queue. Oh, 
So we're inside. In, and we will give you instructions on what to do. Had the best time at the view. And they're giving you a book outside. We even think we're lying to her about the So much fun. So cool. So, so fun. And first live TV experience. And it was so quick as well. Such a fun time. Got to see Whoopi Goldberg. I can't believe it. And Raven Simone. We've got talk shows as well. But our talk shows are so much longer because we don't have all of the commercial breaks that you American guys have. Like, they probably spoke for about 15 minutes out of the hour and the rest was commercial breaks. Yeah, which wasn't ideal actually. It was quite weird, wasn't it? <laughs> New friends! New York! We're currently on our way to see Cirque du Soleil's Wait, new Broadway show. Oh, Paramore. That's it there! Broadway. It was kind of like circus, like circus on Broadway with Broadway. like incredible stunts. It was just crazy with music and singing and just... It was, it was so good. Yes, if you're ever in New York or if it transfers elsewhere or goes on tour, check out Paramore. What is right? Ellen. Tell us about it, Jack. This is one of my favorite places in New York that I always come to when I, whenever I'm here. It's a, just an all-American diner. However, all of the staff are looking to be picked up on Broadway, so they're all like singing, dancing, jazz hands. We are currently on the subway going for lunch with one of Ben's friends at Burger Lobster and then we're going to the Pride Parade to watch some of the floats go past and celebrate the game. Bought Jack a pride flag from this fabulous guy over here. Let's see what he says. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Yeah! <laughs> Are you proud? I'm super proud. New York Pride is doing it. So that's it. Our New York part of the road trip has come to an end. <laughs> so this has been Pride and it was fantastic <laughs> and we are both filled with pride and are now on our way to Washington DC. See you in Washington. Okay, Disney. <laughs>